Hi everyone. I know I wanted to make this video and I know because of the title that I put, it might sound that I like I'm making this video to have a go at Avi. And Avi, if you're watching, I hope you are. Um, it's nothing to do with that. I wanted to really help with what you're doing with the fines, trying to help people uh, win the court case for their fine that they received unlawfully um, to do with the COVID mandates and restrictions. Uh, I want to tell you something maybe you don't know about because I'm seeing over and over you're making videos, great videos, great content. Thank you for all you're doing, really, man. It's been really uh, helping so many people around the world as well, creating awareness and for their nations with these restrictions and mandates and stuff like this. Um, and other guys like I think Rukshan, Rukshan or uh, something. Sorry, man, if I uh, stuffed up your name. It's also been going out there, True Reporting, uh, Ozzy Kozak. Thank you. Um, and really giving the other side of the story, being right there with everybody, not manipulating and editing out what's going on to fit a narrative, uh, like these uh, fake news mainstream media has been doing. And I know you guys have been attacked a lot by government, by um, the police, by um, even people that have been successfully um, conditioned and brainwashed by the mainstream media. Because the mainstream media, guys, if you don't know, uh, are purchased corrupt media that are part of the system, the government system, to bring the spin and nar narrative that's needed for the system to function and work and manipulate and, and uh, execute what they wanted to execute. So they're part of the tool, a weapon that they use all the time. You know, propaganda, it's always happened and happens around the world in every nation. They'll have their own stations that they've made the most popular channels in the, of, on TV, um, that people would watch and then they would use those channels to manipulate and actually one guy uh, one of the globalists actually mentioned one time I forgot his name who it was exactly uh, he said you know give me the news and I will give the people their opinion and that's exactly what's going on they're giving the people their opinion so even people that have you know are still uh, conditioned and brainwashed by this media and they still believe the things that they tell them uh, are attacking some of these great reporters that are just on the ground getting those stories out there, revealing the craziness and tyranny and corruption that's going on. So again, sorry for taking so long for that. I just wanted to say thank you. And this video is not to put you guys down or anything like that, but just to help and let you know that where you're taking these cases, where you go into the court that they have, that's part of their system. It's the maritime law system, which is the law of the sea, which is to do with trading uh, things that are lifeless, that are dead, like phones, uh, you know, companies, cars, all these things. It's, it's, that was to do with trading that, it was to do with shipping, it was to do with the water. This law, this legal system is not meant to be applied to the people of the land, living men and living women. That's why when you go to a court of, this, of their system, they, the judge has to wear black because he's, he's uh, dealing with the lifeless, the dead, uh, nothing that's alive. And so... Again, this might sound crazy to you guys. It's because we've been duped. They, it sounds crazy because we've been so conditioned and so lied to for many years. Our education system been infiltrated. Um, the, the medical, every area that we need, drink, eat, everything. Uh, the media, like I said, the schools, everything has been infiltrated. Lawyers, when they go get trained for law school, they have no idea the capacity and the power of common law because they're told this little fraction of what common law is and not even anything strong about it or the reality of what it is and how it's meant to function and how it's, it uh, supersedes maritime law. They're taught completely statutory law, maritime law, dealing with dead lifeless property. That's why you need someone to represent you. Um, so I'm not here to talk about the, that that legal system uh, at length, I'm still learning myself, but what I learned is completely true, guys. But go on to look into a .com that's scrolling on the bottom and go on the tab that says uh, how uh, going go deeper down the rabbit hole or something like that is the tab that you can click on. And it'll take you to uh, an area where there's uh, video um, training and teaching and uh, documentaries and uh, everything to do with the true law of the land called common law that we're meant to be functioning in. But they are governing us with uh, a deceptive law 
that has even in their own legalese language um, from the Black's Law Dictionary and other dictionaries that they have, which is uh, they use double tongue language to get you the way that this law law functions because the way they can get away with it is they they deceitfully lure you in through contracting with them verbally or by signing a contract, signing something that they tell you to sign. Um, and even the words on that form that you're signing many times are a different meaning to what we have been trained the English word means. So there's the English dictionaries and the English language that we've learned at school, but then they have their own dictionary for legalese language that is used in courts, uh, lawyers, police, anything to do with the government, that when they use it, it means it could be sometimes or most of the time um, complete opposite. It flips the meaning to what they that we understood or we learned it meant. It's a deceptive language, dece deceiving language. Like I'll give you an example, understand. When a police officer says to you, do you understand? We think it means, do you comprehend? But when they say it, it means, do you accept that I stand over you? And you stand under me do you understand and so when you say yes thinking he's asking me if i comprehend he's not asking you that and the right there you have a come into a verbal agreement so it's your fault that's how they look at it it's your fault you should have known because the dictionary is out there the the legalese black's law dictionary and the other law dictionaries are out there for you to find out so your it's your fault the judge does the same thing many times though the police officers and the rest of them don't know about this either they just been told a spill to say uh when a cop pulls you over he has a spill that he has to say um what is your name are you mr da -da 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 -da? they'll say this and all your na name is written in capitals this is a contract as well because it's talking about the entity that they that has been yielded to their system again a lot more to it i'm not going to get into it there's other videos also on my link that you'll find my rumble channel because they're not censoring the videos there you will find some of the videos I've been speaking about this as well and other great videos from others that have been talking about this that will really help you. So click on my Rumble channel as well there. But Avi and the rest of the guys, thank you so much for trying to help these people fight their fines. But I want to play a video right now and show you how, how evil, how, I don't know about evil, but because it's still good to be used for property because that's what it was designed for. What's evil is that they've been cunningly, deceivingly using it on us, the living men and women, and draining us of finances, finding us for things that don't harm anybody. The law of the land, common law, is to do with you take, take someone to court if you've harmed another person or their property. Um, and you be faithful with your dealings, so you keep your word. And if you haven't, that can be taken to common law court as well. So what I've seen over and over is people getting fined uh, unlawfully because these are just restrictions, they're not law, but the guys will say, oh, but it's a law, it's a law. You tell them, show me the law, and they'll say, but the health you know, chief officer said, who cares what he said? First of all, it's a corrupt system that was never, it was never there to govern the people truthfully for the people. It was to drain the people through taxes, through fines, through penalties of different areas, through permits that you don't even need to get a permit for because who are they to ask you to get a permit for something? Like let's say it's your own house, it's your own land. Why would you need a permit to, oh, can I please government have a shed? Can I build a veranda? Yes, it's your property. But they, even the word property, they've changed what that means. Okay, so uh, the double tongue like a serpent has a split tongue, speaks two different ways when he wants to be cunning with you that's what this system is and and i want to show you a clip right now and it's so the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to bring awareness to all these guys like uh, ozzy kozak avi yemeni to understand that all this money that's been given from people to help fight these fines can be used in other greater areas than instead of paying thousands of dollars to the courts and to lawyers that all the, the system is designed to take all the money. So it's that's getting, uh, that's receiving its funds. That's taking and draining the money from the people trying to fight these things, these fines. But the person that's actually copped the fine and won the case gets nothing. There's no reimbursement for them. There's no money given to them after they win the fine showing that, hey, I didn't, they go to court like, you, like you've done, uh, Avi, and they you guys win the case it's great but 
going into their system, you never win. Because think about it, the guy's come out, he's excited that he doesn't have to pay the $5,000 fine. But what did he get out of it? He still lost his time, emotions of being nervous and uh, you know worried and fearful about what's going to happen with the court. He has to go and drive to the city and park somewhere where he has to pay a lot of money because it's very expensive parking in Australia, especially in the city, um, to go and do his court case. So they're dragging him. He has to not go to work that day. So he's lost his wages that day. And he has to hire a lawyer. But thank God you guys are paying for that. But still, people are paying. And what happens at the end? He Okay, yes, you found that this uh, fine was not lawfully given. And it's been dropped. Okay, so he comes out. What did he get out of it? Where is his reimbursement? Where did he get? Did he get paid for his time? His emotions? His... The things he's gone through, the wages he lost that day, nothing. He gets nothing. And that's what this system does. It just takes, takes, takes. So I want to tell you about the true system that's been hidden from us. And through years, they've been doing this, brainwashing us through us, how we're growing up in school. Uh, everything was designed. And like I said, even law school was designed not to teach you the true law of the land, which is common law. And they taught you some garbage fraction of it which is not the fullness of what this is because they don't want you to know. So you've done your four years of training for law and it's to really benefit their system again because you don't know what's really going on. Um, and, and we need to uh, encourage you to uh, investigate this, you guys, you lawyers that mean well, and learn about this system and apply this system. And this is the system you're going to function with. This is the system you should uh, take cases to trial with and you would win 100% because none of these restrictions are law. None of the fines needed to be paid. And what happens with common law is the person that gives you the fine, you take that person as an individual for him playing his part to break the law and give you the fine. Or how they pepper spray people, throw them on the ground, knee them, arrest them, put them in prison, handcuffs, all these different stuff, this abuse that they've been doing. All this stuff, you can take literally each individual police officer to court and they're not representing the police force. And they can't say, but my chief said, it doesn't matter because his actions are the ones who he's guilty of his actions. So he has to give an account for his actions. That's what common law does. And he comes as an individual and pays out of his own pocket. The police force doesn't pay for him. Same with government officials. Same even the, the president, the prime minister of a place. He can be taken to, if it's common law, an individual can take another individual if they have um, evidence for what they're claiming. And it's judged by jury, always at least 12 people, living men and women. Um, it is the true way that it was, we, we were meant to be governed by. And so I'm going to play this clip right now so you can understand what I mean. This is Avi and he was talking about the this uh, new find that they just... One, oh, this is the first case. Let me play you that. Actually, yeah, let me play you that first. This is the first case they won, and he was happy and and sure he should be happy because it's the only system he knew. But no fine should have been paid for because these are restrictions; they're not law. Um, and but they lie to us and deceive us into believing by playing and speaking a specific lingo that they have into believing and sending us paperwork that's fraudulent. The paperwork that they use, your name will be in capitals, all these different stuff. They'll be in the square boxes. All this stuff is on purpose because under law, their legal system, all these things mean different things. And when you look at them, it means nothing to a living man or woman. But if you don't know, then you write back. You sign that paper and you say, okay, and you pay that fine because they scared us into believing that what they're doing is true, but they're playing a game. And if they can fool us, then it's your problem because you signed into accepting me lying to you, fooling you. Um, so let me play this video and we'll talk into it. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have some good news from here in Melbourne, Australia. As you know, a couple months ago, we launched fightthefines.com.au to fight for ordinary Australians getting outrageous COVID fines. Now the process itself takes some time, but today I can tell you breaking news. Our first fightthefines.com.au challenge has won. Police have withdrawn on his outrageous fine. 
Now that's that's great. You know, we're happy with that. The poor guy, look, you'll listen to me. Only goes for two minutes, guys. Um, that I'm going to play and then I'm going to stop it, just so you can get a gist of it. But this is awesome that they won the case, but they still went into their system, into their court. So their courts got paid for. So their system got money. The police officers got their lawyer. So their lawyer got paid as well. And it also goes uh, to them, which is like crazy prices that they put up and so they can pay the courts and stuff. So the system keeps getting paid. Everyone gets paid uh, and it's all corrupt. And the bar association to do with the lawyers, oh, mate, they're so corrupt and evil, this, this organization. It is crazy because it's part of this system. This is some of the driving forces, the bar. Um, anyway, I don't want to throw too much information too quick. You can investigate more, but let's keep watching. Mate, fantastic day. I know you're excited. I can see the smile on your face. Before we get into your reaction, first tell us the story. We haven't had a chance to even catch up on camera, only over the phone. So let people out there know what happened from the beginning. So I've taken the family out on the bushwalk over in um, Mansfield. Uh, beautiful mountains along there. And on the way back, Heading home, uh, we ended up being pulled up by police and uh, they let us know we're breaking the law. So we said, oh, we didn't know, you know, legitimately. We, so we took the family straight home. So check that out, okay? He just went to the mountains. What is he going to give a tree, some covert or something? Put them in danger. Crazy, man, what they've been doing to people. So they pulled them over afterwards saying, you know, you weren't even allowed to go there, you know, because mommy and daddy said so. But it's for our protection. This is how this government works. He flips words and he makes it always sound like it's for your own good, what they're doing. They play. It's very deceptive and it has to sound nice, kind. It has to sound like it's for it's it's good what they're doing, righteous what they're doing. So he makes the other person that wants to question it be the the bad boy, the criminal, the bad person, you know. And it's not the truth. They're literally it's a dece deceiving system. Um but let me keep going and we'll talk more about it. Uh, thank them for the advice. And of course, a month later in the in the mail was a fine. Didn't have the funds at the time, doing double shifts trying to support a family of four. And He's got four kids. Took the, um, put the fine in for, uh, for court. I said, buy me a bit of time. Uh, anyway, eventually I tried to get it revoked and the sergeant said, no, nah, no, nah, you've been served with the summons, that's it. You're Going to court. I remember when you, you hit us up, your story was uh, not only compelling because at the time it was hard to know, but there was, in addition to that, you told me something about your security license. That's right. Uh, LRD uh, refused to renew my license. Because so that's the licensing department of Victoria Police. They refused to renew your license while this was happening. Because it's like it's a criminal offence. And security is one of the industries that, if you had the license, you could have worked. Yeah, I could. Well, I couldn't because they refused to renew it. So check that out. He had a second job, security, and what they did to bully him was because he had this fine, notice, and he goes to court with this fine to do with uh, driving to the mountains with his family to have a day out. Um, they also bullied him by not renewing, allow his security license to be renewed. What's the one got to do with another? It's like, oh, I was speeding, so I want to lose your permit for being a nurse. You know, what the what one got to do with the other? You know, like, so they started bullying because that's what this system does. It's all about draining you from money and bullying you if you try to step out of line. Um, again, I'm not talking about the people. It's like a pyramid. The higher you go, they know what's going on. As lower you go down the pyramid, it's they're, they're more and more have no clue what's going on. They're just taking orders and they do what they're told to do. And they will laugh at you that you... Uh, saying anything that sounds uh, like their system is corrupt or wrong or whatever. They'll think you're the one who's crazy and a conspiracy theorist, but it's the opposite. Okay, let's continue. So, working on the front lines in the hospitals, I haven't been able to work um, because I wouldn't renew it. So, how are you feeling today now that Madeline managed to get this revoked? It's, it's fantastic. It's amazing news to hear um, how it's been revoked and, yeah, They've uh, dropped the charges, been pulled out of court. So, Did you think this was going to happen? I thought it was going to take a lot longer. I didn't expect it to happen so soon. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just uh, exhilarating. Uh, 
families families overwhelmed. Thanks for joining us again. So let me just go back to the screen. Um, so you get it, guys. This is the guy is so happy he lost, he didn't have to pay the fine that he was going. He's copped. I forgot he said I think sixteen hundred dollars or thousand six hundred. I don't remember. But guys, they've been doing this crazy stuff. Like one guy uh, was fined. He was homeless guy. He was living in his car. Because as the mandates and restrictions kept on increasing and people that if you're not vaccinated, you can't go to work and things like that, he wouldn't, he wasn't able to pay his rent. So he lost the house. The guy kicked him out of the house. So he was living in his car. And then the restriction came in where you can't go further than five kilometers from where you live. Well, he was living in his car. So he was driving different places, stopping, sleeping and trying to live. And the cops found him, stopped him, pulled him over and said, hey, you know, one time when he was driving... What are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and he said, they said, oh, you're five kilometers away from your house. And he said, I don't have a house. I was kicked out. I couldn't pay for my rent. I am homeless. I live in my car. And still, you're five kilometers out of your, away from your house. And he's a $1,600 fine. Why? Why? See, this, this is, it's so wrong. It's so evil. It's so unrighteous. Why? Because they have to make money for the system. It's a money-making corporation. That's how it works. Now, when I talk like this again, I'm not saying to have a go, guys, at the police. They're being brainwashed. They use like tools. Many of them, some of them are good people and they're trying to do the right thing. Some of them are not, of course. You know, in every area, there is those kind of people. It just depends on the person. But um, it doesn't change that this system is uh, uh, an an unjust system to living men and women it does not work it was never meant to be used on living men and women living on the land this was the law of the sea and to do with shipping and trading lifeless things um let me play this next clip so i don't go for too long this is today's one that rv posted about uh winning another fine he caught he said covered cops lose again in court and as the clip plays, there's another heading that says something else. I'll show you now. The legal uh, presumption of innocence is lost here because the police, the way the police treated Hayden was that, you know, they presumed he's guilty just because he's not wearing a mask instead of presuming he's innocent and then having the evidence to determine otherwise. Now you arrest this guy for drinking coffee. Stop resisting. <laughs> Drinking coffee without a mask, guys. They arrested no, this guy. Me right now. They literally oh, locked him up. What? I'm being assaulted by three officers. All right. No, let's, I was drinking a coffee. Yeah. I'm allowed to drink a coffee. What's I'm your being name? assaulted by three officers. What's your name? My name's Hayden Williams. G'day, guys. Thanks. Now, just before I continue there. When he says, what's your name? My name is Hayden Williams. When when uh, you start stating your name and then they tell you, let me see your license, you're, you're already beginning the, a contract with them. You're already uh, allowing them to come uh, f over you. That you come under them. Um, so there's a very, the, the way they um, approach us has a lot to do with how they cause us to come under a contract, like I said before, verbally or through signing something. So right there with the questions they're asking him and things like this, it was all to do with, uh, um, and even talking to you as a matter of fact, like, you know, you're breaking, da -da -da, like it's, it's happening. You're breaking the law here and blah, blah, blah. And you say, but what law? Da -da -da, and they tell you, they go, oh, I didn't know. So you're kind of uh, accepting their charges against you so that you're coming under them again. But anyway, that's something you need to learn more about the system and the way they speak and how you should speak back and things like this. Um, again, many of them are ignorant of what's going on. They just say the lingo. They believe they have the authority over you in some of the things that are just restrictions and you never harmed anybody. You're just drinking your coffee without a mask by yourself. Um, anyway, let's continue. For actually taking the time to join us here. I think I'll start with you, Hayden. I'll just play two Firstly, minutes. Firstly, congratulations. But before we get to oh. that, for the viewers out there that don't remember your story, what actually happened? Yeah, so basically I was going to buy a coffee uh, during a lockdown in Alice Springs, Central Australia. And 
Um, as I was drinking my coffee, I was approached by three police officers. Um, they basically uh, asked me to put a mask on. Um, I told them I was exempt. So, so you are committing an offence? I have okay. not committed an offence. I need, no, I I need I have you to not. wear a mask. Okay. I'm drinking a coffee. I do not have to wear a place, mask okay. while I'm drinking a coffee. Hey, they basically ended up arresting me, taking me to the watch house, um, and giving up. me a $5,000 fine. $5,000 fine, guys. Um, which I was, coffee. yeah, I was pretty upset about. And um, after that, yeah, I reached out to you, Abby, and um, seeked help because I was working out in remote Australia at the time. Uh, and yeah, I just needed I needed help to approach and navigate that situation. If it serves my memory correctly, at the time there hadn't even been one COVID case in Alice Springs from the beginning of the pandemic. Is that right? That's right. right yes. Yeah. Um, and so Manny. So let me go back to the screen. Sorry, guys. So did you get that? Now, they, again, they were able to win the case. Um, they did fight them back a lot. They said, no, you, when you, can, you can take the mask. So he was exempt from wearing a mask. Uh, you can, I'll, say, I'll have the, the video link on the description below so you can actually see the whole thing yourself, what RV uploaded. But uh, he, he also, so he had an exempt, exemption, but they were fighting him on that uh, he was wearing a mask, he wasn't wearing a mask, but and drinking a coffee. Yes, drinking a coffee and not wearing a mask is allowed. They were saying, but you have to be sitting down when that happens. Why? Because COVID is very smart and knows when you stand up, it'll take you. But when you're sitting down, it won't. Yes, uh, the the stupidity of the false pseudoscience that they're throwing at us um, at work. But what's happened here though is they were excited even he said we won another one or something like that he says at one stage uh in one of the banners that he puts up again if you look at the video he doesn't get any reimbursement for what he went through he was literally locked up even if it was for one day uh you know taken away from that day that he was having for going out to drink, just have a coffee um so he lost his day at the tour the the emotional torture in your heart, in your mind, everything that's gone on, the thinking. Uh, the day that he lost, the next day, going to work or not going to work, I don't know the full story, but did he get any reimbursement? Did, did any of the money, uh, and remember, as if I, if I kept on playing this, it cost a lot more than 5000 for the case, the court case that they did. I think, I don't know exactly, but it, he was the way he was saying it, it was so much more than just paying the fine. And this is what they've designed, guys. The court fees and everything cost so much. Lawyers cost so much. So the cops hire lawyers. He hires the lawyers. The money is just flooded and going into the system and into the Bar Association, which is a corrupt, again, evil tool that's uh, one of the main ones that are guiding this system and hitting everybody around the world um, in, their, in, in, in the government and through the government to, to make money for the government system, and which goes to the globalists at the end anyway. Um, and he gets nothing out of it. But in common law, what would happen is all those officers that had part of attacking that man that was found not guilty, was found that the fine was unlawfully given, then when that happens, the officers that did what they did unlawfully, they get tried and they have to pay a fine themselves, not the police force for them, themselves. Even if they say, oh, but they might, our chief of police told us we should do this, then we have evidence and witness testimony, which is the cops saying, testifying against their own uh, chief. And then the chief can be taken to court and he also gets tried as an individual. He can't hide behind his badge. He can't hide behind anything and the money and the fund is not going to come from the police force. It's going to come out of his pocket. And that's how it goes. If the judge was corrupt and he sentenced you unlawfully, you can bring the judge as an individual, not under his title, not under his banner, under the common law, you bring the individual and it's tried by living men and women, 12 at least uh, uh, um, people of the jury that try the case. They hear the witnesses, they hear the evidence, they hear everything, and then they make up their mind and it has to be unanimous. This is uh, the proper law that was meant to govern us, common law. So find out more about what's, what that is, guys. In fact, there's... Um, 
one thing that you can do to change things, to stop the tyranny that's gone on around the world, because right now they're lifting all restrictions and they say all, but it's not all. You know, they, they take a lot and they take a little step back and we feel like, oh, I can breathe again because I can go to the restaurant or whatever. And oh, we got our freedoms back. No, man, look again. Two years ago, was that there? No. Was did this here? Was this rule or law here uh, or um, mandate there? No, it's still in place. So they have they have pulled back a little bit, but it's just like a false hope. That's what I believe. It's a false hope. And they, and a, a, it's like the wave has gone down and then a new wave is going to hit again. And so now there's a distraction with the Ukraine-Russian thing that's going on, which is sad for the people that are um, suffering through this in both nations. Um, and because of the governments doing their little agendas and stuff that is going on, there's so much more to it than what we've been fed, especially from the mainstream media guys. Look into things. But um, just don't fall for it and start being used as puppets to attack people because that's what they like doing. But what I found out, and I have no... Um, I get nothing out of this, what I'm about to say now. I found a website called commonlawcourt.com. I'll put a link on the description below, commonlawcourt.com. And these guys are trying to revive back this system. Now, there's many people that know about common law and natural law that have uh, um, taken their freedoms back, but we're also scattered. And there's all these little groups over here and there. Um, but we need to unify right now. We need to come together. And what this commonlawcourt.com did was they uh, have training for constables. You can become like a police officer, but under common law. And this means, and you get, uh, once you do the training and you pass, you get, uh, anyone can do the training, guys. It doesn't matter your age either. Uh, you can, you get a uniform, you get an ID that says you're a constable and this is lawful. No one can arrest you for this, guys. It is literally, once you get this, you literally can go to the police statutory police that belongs to the company of the government that is doing this to the people and say, listen, we're here as well. I want you to bring awareness that we are uh, here too, common law constables. And they can't say anything. They go, yep, cool. Because it's lawful. And the common law supersedes maritime law, the law of the sea. It's not allowed. The maritime law is not allowed to be governing living men and women, but they are deceptively. So it's about raising back up the common law. And this is how we're going to stop the tyranny. If you guys go and then learn, uh, find out a bit more over there, you can even go on my Rumble channel and see the interviews that I've done with some of the guys, like some of the commissioners in commonlawcourt.com. And I'm asking them a question, straight out questions, uh, questions that people asked me to ask, um, concerns people had about it. But Think about it. If we, there's thousands of us already become constables under common law and we have the same uniform, for now, we need an alternative system to raise up. And these guys have put things together. There's uh, common law passports. Uh, common law, you can register your business under common law. So if they tell you, hey, you can't open your restaurant and you, or you can only feed people that are vaccinated, you can say, look, I'm under common law. I, uh, I allow everybody to eat here. Not, no discrimination with, with my restaurant. Or they tell you you can't open your restaurant. Yes, I can. I'm under common law. I don't go under your mandates and restrictions. Um, we're not little baby need uh, you know, mommy and daddy government to tell us what we can't do and should do. If we know something's really deadly and it's going to harm others, we know how to step back and be kind and courteous to other people. We know. We don't need them to treat us like little children. But um, this is what I'm impressed by with them. Like I said, I'm not getting anything out of these guys. Okay, I'm also... Learn, uh, learned a bit about it and I liked where they're going, how they're literally creating the system. What's that have, they've done as well? They're creating a, a currency where it's going to be backed up by precious metals and you can trade with that instead, a digital currency that, um, anyway, there's a lot, there's a videos on those things so you can learn more about it so you can investigate. But what I liked mostly was the constable thing. So if, imagine, you removed yourself out of this their system because you can, and put yourself, um, sign up under the common law and sign up your business under common law. If there's enough constables, because it needs to grow, if there's enough of us that grow and come into one place together for now, so we can stop and put us uh, and, and stand up against, not violently, but stand up against uh, lawfully, um, this against this illegal or unlawful tyrant movement that's happening worldwide. And like I said, if it is a second wave that's going to come. What are they going to do next? You know, how much worse is it going to get? 
So if there's this little window right now, I encourage you guys, learn about common law. If you want, go and become a, a, a constable under common law. And if they try to bully some person right, right there, that uh, man that was drinking coffee, all he has to do is call a constable or call the constable line of the common law. And let's imagine five people, five constables under common law come to those three police officers under maritime law. And they say, listen, can we help you? What are you doing? No violence, no nothing. But show them, listen, we're serious as well. We work, we function under the law of the land. You're under the law of the sea. You're, under, uh, you're uh, out of your jurisdiction. And when they try to use their legalese language, the common law constables know how to speak back and protect you. So this is what I'm hoping would happen. And this is a way that I've seen that maybe this can be one of the answers of us raising up lawfully, um, peacefully, correctly, uh, through an alternative system, which was an old system, which was the system that was meant to govern us, common law. And from there, we have our hospitals that if they tell you, oh, you can't have your surgery, your life-saving surgery because you're not vaccinated, they've done this, guys. Um, in their hospitals, they can come to a common law hospital under common law, and there's no restrictions there, and you get your surgery. This is the thing that these guys are trying to do. Everything from schools as well. Everything, guys. They're trying to take every area that was taken and hijacked by maritime law, which is the corrupt system that was now meant to be uh, governing us. And this corrupt government that's overreaching and also so massive, getting paid so much and the taxes are so high. We can go on and on and on about it. But learn common law. Avi, learn about common law. Common law and use common law, mate. And even when they try to touch you unlawfully, when you learn about common law, same with you, Ozzy Kozak, you won't have to be throwing so much money out of the, you know, to these lawyers, which some of them are well-meaning, uh, trying to fight this in their illegal or unlawful system because we're brainwashed to think this is the only way. It's not the only way. It's common law. This is the way that it was meant to be, but we were duped and brainwash from school system, from everything growing up in this system and didn't realize what they've done to us. So they don't like when we talk like this, They people that have talked like this, uh, speaking about common law and make, and influencing people and making them understand how true this is, have had their bank accounts ceased, guys. Um, you know, so many things have been happening, but this is what I mean. If, if the common law court has their own currency, that we trade with, then we don't need their train, their currency. You get me? If we don't need them, need their system, then they can't have power over us. But if we're just alone, they will bully us. But if there's many of us, then they won't bully us. There's much more of us than them. And again, I'm not talking violence. I'm talking about making things right again, bringing justice, correct justice back again. And I think that this is one of the ways that it's going to happen. So look into it, guys. I will put the links in the description below that I spoke about and I uh, hope this helped. Um, yeah, and hopefully as RV, Ozzy Kozak and other people that are influential that have been really helping uh, the people grow in their understanding about common law, I hope that you will use it and help people understand it more as well because you'll reach more people than I would um, and help them see uh, the unlawful things that they've been doing to us and then you will help make things right using common law okay guys thank you and i'm going i hope this helped you and um yeah check out their website commonlawcourt.com and sign up sign up for the training there's a lot more to it in fact please before i go when you go to uh, my rumble channel if you don't know what rumble is guys so those of you that don't know it's an alternative to youtube it doesn't censor your videos yet because he hasn't been corrupted and taken over yet Hopefully never, but uh, check out the interview that I did about constable training. I asked the full, full on questions to find out more about it for people so they can understand what's going on there and how you go about it. And a few other interviews that I've done with the common law court commissioners. All right, guys. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> see ya.